What's the story, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, been a long time since I've done a video about Liverpool, obviously, because of the international break. But a uh, big game tomorrow. Merseyside Derby, back in Anfield. Half 12, to, half 12 kick off um, on TNT Sports, I believe. So, obviously, the Merseyside Derby games are big games, no matter where each side are in the league. Um, Liverpool are in the top four. Everton are 15th. So, obviously, it's going to be huge. Now, you have to excuse the background here. I'm in a cafe, so there's a lot of people obviously chatting away and whatever. But I'll try and get this video done as quick as I can. Um, yeah, just talk about the opposition, Everton. Um, not had the best of starts of the season. They've had two wins in the last eight games. They're on seven points. Um, they performed really well against Bournemouth the other day at uh, Goodison. Um, bet them very convincingly, obviously. Uh, Bournemouth are a bit of a side where they just... They're a bit of an anomaly in some ways where you don't know what you're going to get from them. However, they've done a job on them. They're very clinical on the day. And, uh, yeah, there's no doubt. I know they'll probably get a bit of confidence going into this game on the back of that win. And, uh, obviously, they have a manager in Sean Deutsch who kept them up with his skin and their teeth last season. Was he lucky? Um, it's debatable whether he was. However, he kept, his, he kept it all together. He came in with probably... A lot of managers would have struggled to cope under those circumstances and got the job done and got them safe and surviving. It's obviously this season they're involved in it again. There's talk of a financial fair play hearing that's going to be happening next week and determine what kind of punishment they get. They on the verge of being taken over or that takeover is on the verge of collapse due to what the 777 group are involved in. However, um, I think Deutsch is that kind of manager who just rolls his sleeves up and just gets, gets a group of players together and says, look lads, get on with it, let's try and fight for the club and whatever. Which they've done in the last couple of games, to be fair, they've actually played well in them. In the couple of home games at Goodison, they have struggled to put the ball in the back of the net. They, they lost to Fulham, they lost to Wolves, they lost to Arsenal. So, but their away form has not been great. I think they got beaten 4-0 away to Villa. And they've not won the rest of the other games as well, so no doubt Deutsch will have them for this game. No doubt about that. So in regards to Liverpool, um, nice to see Cody Gakbo back in training and Kevin Kelleher as well, especially with Europa League games coming up. And uh, still no sign of Thiago, Besesic, Bendo picked up an injury in international duty for the Scotland on 21s. And also, another Scotsman, and Andy Robertson, picked up an injury as well, where he dislocated his shoulder, so that was a nasty one. So I reckon there's rumours going around that he's out for 10 weeks, so I suppose it's not the end of the world, really. I mean, it's better. 10 weeks is better than four months, if you put it that way, because that's what an injury like that can tend to happen, depending on how bad it is. So looks like Civic has to be through a big run on this side from now to the end of the year. And uh, yeah, it's up for him now to keep it short, really, till from now to the end of the year to see how well he does. Obviously, he was given a big contract, so it's a big, big, uh, big, big ask for him to see if he can keep it short. So let's go back into the start at 11. Um, in goal, Allison didn't play that many games for Brazil away at his national duty, so he should be raring to go for this one. Back four, Trent, a right back, Kanate. A right centre back, Verge, captain, and left centre back, and uh, Simicas a left back. So those four, Simicas has played the two games for Greece. Verge has played the two games for Holland. Uh, Canate has also played the two games for France as well. It was very really hoited by uh, the French manager Didier Deschamps, and he sees to play him quite a lot of the games. Which can only tell you one thing that he must be highly rated within the French camp. And Trent, who didn't really feature too much in the games. I think he only played a couple of minutes against uh, against Australia. He didn't I didn't he didn't feature too much against Italy, so he should be okay for this one. In uh, midfield, I've gone with Alexis McAllister as a six. Now I wouldn't put him as a six, but I have a feeling he's gonna be in as a six for this game. Um, played well in the games against Ar for Argentina during the international break, so he obviously starts in this one. Uh, left side is 
Miss Hill, I've gone for Ryan Gravenberg. Didn't go away, so we should be ready to go for that one. And this game will be a nice game for him to start in as well, even though it's a major side derby. Left side of central midfield. So he didn't go away, so hopefully he should be okay for this one. Uh, right side of midfield, I've gone for Dominic Slobosoy. Again, was so influential with Free Hungary in the two games, and they just need one more win now to qualify for the European Championships in, in uh, Germany. So, he should be okay for this one, too. Uh, front three, I've gone with Salah on the right, Jota on the left, and Nunes as a centre forward. Diaz, I think, will feature at some points, but I think he's been delayed coming back from travelling, so I wouldn't be surprised if he features on the bench. Cody Gakpo's back in training, but he's not going to start in this one. I think he'd be on the bench for this one as well. So, uh, Salah done well for Egypt, as he always does. Should start regardless. Nunes scored against Brazil in a very good 2-0 win uh, for Uruguay. Uh, Jota featured a few, a few games for Portugal, so he should be okay for this one. Um, yeah, so that'll be my starting 11. Obviously, the subs, Elliot, done well for the 21s. Uh, we'll probably feature from the bench. Same with Gakpo. Same with Diaz. Jones is still suspended given the, the dubious red car decision that went his way. And uh, yeah, we should be okay. We should have a bench that's ready to go and should be okay. Um, hopefully the likes of Thiago, Vesesic, Doak are not out for too long. If they're available for, let's say, DFL game against Bournemouth, that'll be all, that'll be all put us in good stead. So uh, yeah, that's my video. Um, I'll be doing a post-match video after this game to talk about the results and the game analysis. So uh, please like the video, also subscribe to the channel. Also let us know in the comments about what starting 11 you'd pick. And uh, yeah, all the best. Have a good day. Cheers.